We live. We ready. Let's get it. Let's get it. But first of all, let's tweet it. Because <laughs> otherwise, you know, not everybody's going to find out about the stream. Because you already know. YouTube can be hella unreliable sometimes. But it's all good. That's what my lovely Twitter is for. By the way, follow me on Twitter. At, uh, well, it's in the description. Because it's, it's hard to say my my name in, in English because I have such a Hispanic name. I mean, not Laura. Laura is a, a whatever, but it's my last name. That's what's difficult to uh, pronounce in English. I, I, I don't even know if there's a way to say it in English, if I'm being completely honest. All right. Let's get it, though. Let's get it, though. All right. Whoa, welcome back, everybody. <laughs> What's up? All right, so I'm going to wait a minute for as many people to uh, get into the stream because I got I got some special to start off the stream today. <laughs> <laughs> what is up, Wangsa, Chad, Punk, Dallas, and Barry? What is up? Welcome back. What do you mean, like, talk to myself, Punk? I don't know why that sounded so, like... <laughs> it sounded so, like, gangsta. Like, what do you mean, Punk? But I don't know if people say Punk anymore. Oh man, thanks Chad. Thank you for watching my stream last night with Riley. It actually was a lot of fun, which is surprising because I wasn't really feeling in the mood to stream. You know, so... Um, I don't know. I, I usually, before every stream, I'm always like kind of tired because I've had a long week. I mean, I said this in my last stream, but I'm usually tired and I'm like not totally like pumped up. I mean, I'm not naturally an energetic person, but once I get into the groove, oof, that's where the story changes, man. I, I become another person. I don't know. It's like, and I used to have the same problem, which is a good problem, I guess, when I used to record videos because uh, I, I would always just, I don't know, as soon as I hit that record button, it's like I went into entertainer mode. Even though I did walkthroughs back then, you know, but still. But anyways, what's up, Ivan? Finally, I'm not late to the stream. Yay! That's awesome, man. And it's been so cool seeing, like, more and more of you uh, join up the stream every time. I, it's so heartwarming. I, I love that I have a show and people tune into it. Um, what's up, Swambiff? Um... You're very welcome. Are you st are you still shocked about all the gifts you're getting, bro? I, no offense, but I still am like this is too good to be true. Like there is there has to be a catch, and I I'm not saying I don't trust you. I mean I don't really know who you are, um. But it's just one of those things. Like you know, it's it's like if somebody came up to you and they were like, hey, do you want a uh, Leonardo DiCaprio? autograph because he's like my cousin like you know what I mean it's like so random and so out of nowhere but I am excited and you bet your ass I'm going to unbox it for the channel what's up shifting gears welcome back uh thank you wangsta today I decided to glam up a little bit because I I kind of feel like you know what I'm an entertainer now I can't just like show up to every live show looking the same, you know, because that's like boring. Um, and yeah, I, I don't do makeup very often, but when I do, I usually just do this. And yeah, I don't even like put on anything on my skin. I used to like when I had a lot of acne, but thankfully, uh, I, I think I finally finished puberty after like a thousand years. <laughs> uh I can change my username again if punk sounds awkward. Nah, man. I think it sounds awesome, dude. Be yourself. Anyway, so now that we got a little bit more viewers, 
let's get this party started. As promised, as promised, as promised, <laughs> I am going to be reacting to a YouTube video made, well, edited by the lovely Swam Biff Gaming of the um, political comments that Tony says, and as well as Donald Love in the, mis in the mission uh, steering the vote. I was unable to react last week because I didn't get my shit straight and I didn't like get organized and figure out how to share with you guys, but now I have. I did my homework. I, I told you, I gave you my word, and now I'm doing it. So, hold on, my mom, my mom decides to text me. I told her twice, I'm streaming, mom. Don't interrupt me, because my mom can be a little snoopy sometimes. Okay, let's do it, though. So, I'm not going to be able to see your comments, unfortunately. But, hopefully, you will be able to see my computer screen. So, I hope you guys can see this. I'm going to react to it because I'm pretty sure you can hear it. I tested it. If not, then, well, watch me make a fool of myself for the next uh, minute and a half. So, let's go ahead and react to it. I've heard some of the comments, but I didn't hear all of them. And I'll give you guys who have no idea what's going on some context after I react to this. So, let's do it. Oh, let's no, watch this. Pretty three standard. Wives. Oh, this is where it gets. Yeah, the three wives. You already O'Donovan. know that one. O'Donovan is a junkie. Wait, what? What did he just say? Who ate all the pies? O'Donovan. O'Donovan is a <laughs> I knew that one too. Yeah, he's been uh, snorting some coke. O'Donovan believes in compulsory buggery. I don't really know a whole lot about compulsory compulsory burglary. But I'm guessing it's some sort of, uh, not very moral O'Donovan thing. O'Donovan's a communist! <laughs> O'Donovan's a communist? That, I mean, honestly, that's like the typical... I mean, haven't you noticed that's the typical, um, thing that they accuse pol politicians? Especially, like, especially... I mean, that was like the main, like, accusation against the left in the last elections and it's just like come on bro like can you come up with something better than that like that's so generic okay a communist congratulations you need something a little bit stronger because that's not gonna, that's not gonna convince people that's literally like you make a really good argument towards somebody in a fight and instead of them like making you know a counter statement they're just like oh fuck you that when you say that that's how you know you're winning like when somebody says that to you of course that's how you know you're winning the argument. Oh, Donovan dresses in his daughter's underwear. Oh, Don oh shit. Oh wait, I think I knew that one. The Oh Donovan dresses in his un is it in his daughter's underwear. Yeah, we heard that one. I think it was two Donovan episodes gets ago. Naked I don't know. With hogs. Oh. With hogs? Oh, Donovan gets naked with hogs. I don't know what a hog is. So unfortunately, I cannot laugh at that because I have no context for it. If you guys want to give me the context, I, mean, I know you guys have some like mad PhDs in this game. Let me know. Oh, Donovan hates America. Love of course, typical. I feel like that's another one of the the generic statements that they use to like bring down the reputation of a politician. Oh, tax the wealthy. Wait. Love will or won't tax the wealthy? It's refreshing to see, though, how basically they've been doing the same, like, scandals in politics since, well, the last 20 years. Like, nothing has changed. Love won't tax the wealthy. Won't tax the, the wealthy, of course. So I'm assuming, uh... Donald Love is a Republican, which makes no sense because he used a blue van. I guess it's opposite day in GTA. Oh, love for pathology classes in schools. 
Donald Love believes in pathology? Oh. Wait. For pathology classes in school? Is it because Donald Love is a cannibal? So, obviously, that's the kind of thing he wants to be studying or wants people to be because studying. Schools. Donald Love believes in morgue access for all. Donald. Oh my. <laughs> Wait. Donald Love, Donald Love believes in morgue access for all. Donald Love is a war hero. A vote for a love war is hero. A vote Doubt for it. Happiness. A vote for. I can tell this is where, where the writers start started running out of ideas. Tough on vegetarians. For Wait. What? Donald Love, tough on vegetarians. What did he say? Top on vegetarians? I know it's some sort of it's some it's something diminishing against vegetarians. Oh, alright, and that's it. All right. Let's switch back to my face. <laughs> so what did you guys think? Did you hear that? <laughs> I, I'm guessing you guys did. Ah, thanks, C. Alvarez. <laughs> Tough on vegetarians. Wow, yeah, I can... Donald Love is definitely on the keto diet, if you know what I mean. What's up, Toyota? Love that name. I mean, because I have a Toyota. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my little reaction there. That was funny. Um, definitely, I, I, if you want to see like my actual like first, first reaction to it, I think I played this mission two episodes ago. So definitely watch that. Um, if only I you know, had a highlight editor. But we're not there yet. But we will get there. I could edit highlights myself. But I just I don't have time for that. So for now, this is gonna be a, a on-demand tune-in. I don't even know what I'm saying, man. I think it's a pig. A hog is a pig. Oh, I see. So he's um. What did what do they call that? Um. Oh, Donovan is uh. I can't think of the of the word when when like people like sleep with animals, which is crazy. What's up, Peter Jan Cues? I don't know if I said that right. Thank you, man. I love you all too. Uh, are you feeling self conscious? Probably explains the makeup. No, not at all, actually. If anything, I feel the most confident that I ever have in my life. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I like glamming up every now and then, and uh, yeah, it's fun. Alright, so what do you guys say we get back into this game? I have to actually switch up this whole thing, because I, I set up my computer to um, react to this video, first of all. Thank you, Swanbiff, by the way, for providing the content. Everybody, go subscribe to Swan Biff Gaming. He's one of my top commenters in the stream, so I'm pretty sure you'll be able to see him. Thank you, man, for letting me uh, show your video in my stream, and uh, hopefully that gives you some exposure. All right. So. So. What do you say? We get back into the game. Let's see, wait. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow, what's up, Tony? Long time no see, man. How you doing? It certainly has been a while. It hasn't, though. It's been a week. What am I saying? I, I feel like it has been a while, though. I don't know, man. I, I say some crazy stuff here. Bestiality, yes. Thank you, Punk Dallas. So, O'Donovan is uh, uh, being accused of that, apparently. Even though, if you think about it, the closest thing to bestiality here is Donald Love, even though he's not really doing anything with animals I think he's taking it a step further and doing worse things with humans 
Um, I want to change my name into something with retro gaming. Honestly, Toyota, I think you have a pretty awesome retro game. Like, not game, but retro name. So, uh, I think you're good to go, man. Honestly. And, you know... The, like, history repeats itself, man. I, I see a lot of things coming back. Anyways. Right, so, the reason why I've titled this... <laughs> this stream fuck this mission is because we have to deal with an obstacle that we have in this game um which is a mission i don't remember the name i'm pretty sure you guys know especially the ones who were here last week you guys know exactly what i'm talking about because i tried this mission like three times and i oh there's no way i'm using that that's my favorite car right now um I tried this mission from Salvatore, who's been waiting on the phone line uh, for the last, you know, week uh, again because I, I couldn't pass the mission, so I got mad and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna leave you on red for another week. And leave you on red is code for ignoring, ghosting you, you know, back in the back in the 90s, but in this case, it's a phone booth. But today we can't we can't ignore it guys because you know I can go ahead and do some ray missions and all that but ultimately the more you ignore something the worse it gets and I can't I can't avoid this forever you know what I mean I need to deal with this head on apply directly <laughs> to the forehead <laughs> I always have to <laughs> anyways um uh, I love the name Toyota because there's a Toyota in the movie Back to the Future and it's also ooh. Well, you happen to come across the right stream because I've always been a fan of Toyota. Though I would have a a, a Jeep. A Jeep. So Yeah, there's apparently everybody who has a Jeep has like a special connection with each other. I don't know. It's like a weird cult with Jeep owners. Any Jeep owners in here? Anyways, we have to get this done, guys. And I, some of you said to me uh, last week that the way to pass this mission is to basically, I guess, take it easy and not crash into things. But the thing is, well, you'll see in a second. It's, uh, it's more complicated than that. Hey, Tony! Wait, I, was it with Salvatore? Oh yeah, it was. Yeah, for a second I wasn't sure, but... Okay, hopefully we'll pass this. I have a feeling I may not pass it on my first try, but you know what? It's I, I feel a lot better going into this mission now than I did last week. Because last week I was very tired, I had already been streaming for a while. So... Okay, Sal, let's I'm see what bed. happens. Good! Yeah, we already. If you want to see the cutscenes, just watch my last stream. Okay, here we go again. I love the military jeeps. <laughs> Wait, you mean like, like the Humvees from like the Afghanistan or Iraq Iraq War? Oh shoot. By the way, you guys, uh, I recorded my entire process of making this the thumbnail for today's stream. And I think I'm going to make it into like an actual like video for the channel. Because I thought it was super cool, like kind of just watching it um, super fast and whatever. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Going back. See, all these guys like shooting at me put so much more damage on the vehicle than the hitting of objects, you know? So, and of course the first person view of the driver is not helping. Oh, here we go. That guy's taken care of. What if I just like lure them towards me? Ugh, thank you, Swan. Thank you for the reassurance. Alright, guys. Sick of this guy over here. I think I got him. Of course, there's no way to know. 
until I look back. See, like, they're coming out one by one. Can I just, like, lure them away? There's one over there. I'm gonna go chase him out. Alright. Ah! Bro. So far, we're actually not doing so bad. I just wish there wasn't a freaking timer, man. Oh, he died pretty easily. Thank the lord. Luring is a good idea indeed. It is, but the problem is that we have a timer. And I can't really see what's going on here. Oh, I... I'm... Um, what the hell, man? Can't I just, like, exit the vehicle? Is, is there some sort of way to cheat through this mission? Because I... I don't see- I don't remember how to pass it, man. Swan, like, how did you pass it? Like, I- I could use... Any sort of advice, please. Alright, well, let's try it again while you guys come up with ideas. <laughs> Those bullets are crazy, they are. Hey, me. Tony, it's me. Jesus me, well... Attempt number two. Shall we? Oh, I keep forgetting the van is over there. Alright. Let's try this. For the second time. I think never stopping okay, just keeps so driving forward. Wait, I'm confused. What? Alright. Alright, everybody shut up. I need concentration. What the? I wonder, can I just like... No, I don't want to exit the vehicles because I, I don't want to risk getting out of the van. And, of course, failing the mission. Also... Wait, okay. Hey! What's happening here? Uh-oh. Okay. So now they're running. Where are they going? Okay, let's see here. Jesus Christ! I already have the thing! It's full. And still, look at all the guys that are left. Perform Calvary charges, basically? What is that? What I'm doing? <laughs> I mean, hang. Alright. I wish I had a day with a cheese deluxe instead of doing this right now. It seems like I got a lot of them. Actually, why don't we go in here? Well, I don't actually- no, that's a bad idea. Let's get the, the the ones on the other side. Oh gosh, I can't see. Oh, great. Okay, good, there we go. This reminds me so much of like the racing games on PS2. I mean, they're still probably like this. I don't think age has changed how racing games- ah! Oh, this is not looking good. And we still have good uh, a, a good amount of time. But this car doesn't have a good amount of life left in it. I'm scared. When you're crashing into them, don't stop. Even if it hits the cars. The Willys MB is a military type of Jeep. I never heard of that. Alright. <sighs> Jesus. I love how you guys are like- I, th I feel like you guys are just as tense as I am. I can feel it in your energy. Alright. Come on, Grandpa, get out of the way. But there's these guys in here, and I feel like they're gonna ruin... ...my... ...next- oh, I'm gonna fail. You know what? In the next attempt... I'm going to go in with no mercy. 
because I feel like me having mercy is what's getting me killed. And that is no good. Ah! And this van is no good to go upstairs either. Alright. It's this. Damn. Chorus time. Alright, let's try again. Yeah, Midnight Club. You know, Midnight Club is also made by Rockstar, right? Fun fact. I used to have the PSP one. But I don't know, I was just- I was never really into, like, racing games that much. I just- I found them to be repetitive. I don't know what they are like now. I've seen- I, I have seen videos of people playing uh, race games using a wheel stick. Also, how did I lose my health if I wasn't even in that car? Um, I've seen videos of people, you know, playing that sort of thing, and it actually looks really fun with the wheel. I don't know about, you know, without okay, a wheel. Sal, I'm in the van. <sighs> it's a shame you can't use pay and spray, but the car goes out of range, right? Hmm. I don't know. Let me see. It isn't that far away. Oops. How do I... R okay. We could try it. I mean, we have a timer, but... Because look how far we are. We're about the same distance as the pay and spray from the location. So you know what? Maybe it is an unknown trick to get this mission finished. Oh gosh. Sorry in advance if I'm giving you a headache with this mission, but I'm pretty sure... See, like, crashing into vehicles barely removes any damage. Alright. Oh, come on! Alright, no mercy, guys. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I barely got any damage. You know, I'm having flashbacks now of how I did this years ago. Let's try again. No, 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 no. Actually, no, no. I have a feeling that the guns remove more damage than the actual crashing. I. This is actually working much better than the other approach. Alright. Let's try again. Ah! Yeah, lady, I feel ya. Oh! <sighs> okay. Grandma? Oh, wow, she was like, get over it! I can't. I can't get over it until I've dealt with it, okay? That's how you process things as a human being. Ah! Get it out, out! Get out! Get out the way! You almost killed me! <sighs> We're doing alright! This is working. Okay. We got like two people left. Okay, this is working. It's got like these guys left. Which I think I can get in one run. No, not quite. Sorry about my dogs. They are not very considerate of my stream. I think this is the last guy. Uh oh. Wait, what happened? I missed that. Oh, we did it! <laughs> what was that? The the third attempt? I guess third time is usually the charm. Alright, nice. That wasn't too bad. Now I'm gonna have to change the title of the stream. <laughs> and also the face that I made. Oh, wait, we're getting a call. Hello? Tony, Sal here. Get over to Belleville and find the public phone booth. I got something urgent he's doing. So apparently Salvatore and I now have an LDR relationship because he won't speak to me in person. But it's alright, it's alright. Whatever floats his boat, right? Nice to meet you. <sighs> Thank you guys for the moral support on that mission. It definitely, uh... 
I didn't expect myself to pass it so quickly, honestly. But I guess I did. So... Moving on. See? How much better it is to face things head on. By just applying it to the forehead. I need to stop. That, o that joke is getting old. It really is. I, I feel like I've been telling that joke since I saw the infomercial when I was a kid. What's up, Pasindu? Love from Sri Lanka. Nice, man. Thank you for watching the stream. Welcome. Alright. Let's save the game. So I don't want to go through that again. If you think about it, I tried this mission six times before I, uh, passed it. Taking- oh, nice! What's up, Punk Dallas again with the super chats? Taking the peace out of the Middle East. Relief fund. <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. Taking the peace out of the Middle East. I'm confused, man. I hope that's nothing offensive. What's up, Riley? Thank you for the super chat, though, uh, Punk Dallas. You're always so generous. Um, what's up, M9? Welcome to the stream. You know, I actually I should have tried that trick, man, with uh, taking that that Sindaco car to the pan spray. Oh man, wait! I want this in furnace. By the way. It looks like I might be doing Vice City Stories next and not GTA 4 because a lovely viewer, Chad, has offered to send me his Vice City Stories copy and I would feel bad not covering the game when I'm literally getting it for free so far. That is a $70 game. I'm still shook. I cannot believe it. So, um... It's looking like that might be the next game. You know, it makes sense because yeah, I just cover you know the the, the two um, sequels, I guess, to the to the GTA Three, GTA Vice City uh, universe. Wait, actually, let's go visit Ray instead and uh, leave Salvatore on red again. <laughs> so I'm just says, "Hey, Bat Beach Geezer Riley." If you guys don't know what that means, uh, you should tune into the stream that I did yesterday with Riley on my second game channel. The link is in the description. Um, yeah, we had a really good time. Like, it, it, it's cool because those streams are a little bit more low key. There's like a lot less people, so it's like it's literally like video chatting with friends almost. Um, so I definitely suggest you check it out. We stream every Friday. Um, but anyways. Did you try the Yakuza games? I have not. I've never played a Yakuza game. I thought about it, but I, I don't know. Like, it just doesn't look like my type. I'm just very picky, man. I'm super picky with games. So, uh, you're, yeah, I, I don't just, yeah. I'm also a very slow gamer these days because, like, I bought, like, five games last year and this year. And I've only- I haven't passed a single one of them, so, yeah. <laughs> also, the PS3 version of LCS doesn't have achievements. Yeah, I, these games have never been redone, so as long as that happens, it's not gonna happen. Like, we're not gonna get achievements. Uh, what's up now, Fal? And DL Dar, welcome to the stream. And Naz, I saw you, I saw you. Alright. Let's do the next mission from Ray. I'm unsure which one it is. It's not racist unless you take it as racist context. I always viewed New York as the east of America and Staunton Island being in the middle of New York, so Middle East. Oh, I get it. Yeah. And thank you for the context, but uh, no, I have nothing to say. Like, thank you, man. I understand it now. I don't think... I mean, it's a game reference, so I don't know how it can be racist. I love Middle Eastern people and food. <laughs> Night of the Livid Dreads. Fun fact. I wanted dreadlocks once, and I'm very glad Supreme I didn't pull through with that. We must stop meeting like this. Fine by me. Come on, lighten up a little. What you got for me, McCaffrey? 
Those Yardy boys are having a little trouble holding on to their newly acquired turf in Newport. Seems now the Sendakos want it back. Man, what a bunch of drama. These Sendakos and the Yardies and the other... Like, might as well have a freaking reality TV show because there's so much... Such a soap opera between them. If you think about it, the mafiosos are some of the most dramatic people on Earth. They take things so personally that they go out and kill people. That right there is a definition of insecurity. <laughs> Where you feel so offended by something or someone that you need to go and exterminate them. <laughs> Confidence is quiet. That's how you truly don't give a crap. Or how you truly give a crap, too. I don't know. Whatever, however you want to view it. Yes, Middle Eastern Arabic food is pretty cheap, cheap here. Dude, what is your guys' favorite Middle Eastern food? I'll go first. While I, fig <laughs> while I forget to even do this mission. Um, I guess it depends. But, like, I really love... Um, hold on, I gotta remember the, the names of these dishes because they have some really, some really interesting names. Um, yeah, I can't remember the name, but I... Actually, no, give me a second. What is in here? Or is this just like an empty wall? Oh, interesting. Oh, there's a, a, a pill. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. It, it, it sounds like, or it looks like it might be a, a rampage na nearby. But I don't know. Um... But yeah, usually when I eat Mid Middle Eastern food, I tend to like, um, I mean, I love me some pita bread with hummus. I don't like the, the other mashed food. I don't know, I don't, I can't remember the name right now because I'm streaming and my mind is in like a hundred places right now. Baba ganoush, baba ganoush. I don't like baba ganoush. I, I don't understand like the flavor of it. <laughs> Um, I love falafel. Um, I also, of course, am always referencing Robin from How I Met Your Mother when she says falafel <laughs> instead of I love you. Um, I love, of course, Greek salad. Mine is the feta cheese. I, I don't really like cheese. Screw cheese. Any cheese haters in here with me? Or is everybody a cheese lover and I'm just the alien? Dude, where the hell am I going? I have no idea where I'm going. Alright. Um, what else do I like? I like... I mean, I, I like the, um... I just, I don't know what it's called. I like the chicken that they make. Like, the grilled chicken. Are these people moving? Because... Okay, I've been going in circles for, like, the last minute. Alright, let's see. Let's go into this creepy alleyway and see what's going on. What kind of drama do I need to stop this time? What am I killing? I forget. Sindakos, I guess? Oh. I need the ambulance. You go help my boys. Your boys look pretty good to me. Protect the Yardies. Uh-oh. If only I could, uh, you know, take cover. But unfortunately, this game is not there yet. And we'll never get there. I should be careful. And I can't- like, these guys can crunch and I can't. Um... Should be careful. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's just a grenade. Oh wow, there's a lot of them out here. Let's see. I have tried. Oh, oh, I pa I parked my Lambo in the worst place. Wait, are they gonna? Are they walking over here? I kind of want to throw a grenade. I feel like it would be so much easier. But I feel like I'm gonna kill these guys. So, not a good idea. Alright, let's see. Get out of there. Actually, this is a good spot right here. You know what? 
let me try and throw a grenade. Let's see what happens. That didn't do anything. Okay. Okay, got that guy. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. Dude! I hope he didn't kill my dudes. Oh, he killed- almost killed them all. These Yardies are made of steel. Oh, man. But you know what? I'm made of gold, baby. Alright. I'm trying to focus because I my health is not doing so great and I didn't pick up any armor. Oh shoot. Oh my god. It's a lot of them. Did you get ugly, yeah? But not enough to combat me. Go and meet the ambulance. Here come the ambulance! Chance, Mr. Cipriani. I think they're gonna need more Oh wait, the <laughs> the Yardie's driving the ambulance. I thought they were gonna come save the Sendakos, but I guess, uh, you know, there's no fixing it. They're all going to heaven. Alright, another mission. I, I want to, I think my goal in this stream is to try and get as many missions done because I don't want, like, the series to be, like, super long. I, I want to be able to, cause I kind of like... The, you know, how my Mafia stream went, which was like, I did a couple of episodes and, you know, I was able to finish the story relatively quickly. But then again, I did start that stream halfway through, you know, the story. This is the first time that I do a stream from start to finish. Um, so I guess I am still testing the waters on how, you know what kind of streamer I am and how I work. You know, this whole thing has really just been a huge experimentation. Um, but yeah, let's get out of here and do the next mission. But I, I do need to go grab some armor. So let's do that, shall we? But yeah, I want to see if I can get as many missions done. Hopefully even, you know, get to Shoreside Vale because I don't- I- I wanted to- I want to try and not surpass 10 episodes. You know, I want to- I want to keep this nice and constricted in terms of amount of episodes. So, um, yeah, let's see what Salvatore has to say today. You know, he's been waiting so long for me to talk to him. <laughs> waiting for weeks. But, uh, but first of all, you guys come first. Um... Huang Li doesn't crouch either. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. Just go on and finish them dacos. Rhymes with tacos. Neither the DC5... I'm so, I'm so lost. I feel like you guys are having your own little, like, conversation in here. Um, yes, now foul. I finally passed the Salvatore mission. It actually wasn't that complicated once I realized that you can't go light on it. You, you gotta, you know, really go ham. You got you gotta be harsh on those Sindacos. I own a wheel and shifter set up for Forza Horizon 5 and other raising totally changes the experience. Yes, that's exactly what I watched a video about. I think the video was by uh, this guy called Jack something. He has like a really popular um Red Dead video and he made a video about like the force I think and it looks really fun but I guess I feel like that's for like really dedicated gamers I, I don't feel like I'm dedicated enough to own a, f a wheel um, is this PS4 with trophies because I want a platinum with it um, no TG TJB this is PS2 this is old school man I, this game doesn't really exist for PS4 anyways um, but yes.
My fave is Chicken Mandy. What is that? Maybe we're talking about different Middle Eastern food. Because I feel like Middle Eastern... Like, there's so many kinds of Middle Eastern. Or maybe I'm just not educated enough in it. And I don't really know a whole lot of, like, the different... Like, okay, I don't even know. I, I never took geography in my life. So I'm not even exactly sure um, where in the world the Middle East is. Um, so, yeah. If Rockstar Games outsource games again to Grove Street Games, aka the the people who nearly killed the GTA trilogy, the, ex, you know, the definitive edition. Um, if they do Vice City Stories and LCS, I would totally buy them, just like I did with the with the definitive edition. I just hope that they've learned their lesson because. You know, they clearly kind of did a half-assed job at first with the definitive, definitive Edition. So if they touch these games, they better do a good job. Because these games, although underrated, are just as important. Alright, let's get back into this mission. Let's see what Salvatore has to... Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Well, it looks like uh, we can't do a Salvatore mission after all. Wait, what if we just load the game and hurry up and get there? And I think we have to wear the, um, I think we have to wear that outfit. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, it's too late. I'm going to have to save again. Let's change into the outfit just in case I really don't want to come back here. Today's episode is, is more like a speed run, okay? We're gonna get as much done as we can. Because we're, we're, we're spending too much time on Staunen Island, even though last week was my first episode in Staunen Island. Like, no, this is enough. We gotta get out of here. Okay, let's see. Okay, Avenging Angels. I'm not exactly sure what this outfit means or what it is a reference to, but yeah. Okay, so we're going to save again, because that, I think, fast-forwards the GTA clock forward. So, let's go. It's Curry Middle Eastern or Indian Asian? I think Curry is Indian. I think. What's up, Jim Harrison? Welcome to the stream. Jack Septic Eye? No, it's another Jack. It's a new Jack. Like, the guy just became popular. When are you going to the poll for the mod in your streams? Oh, shoot, I forgot about that. Yeah, you guys were wanted to <laughs> compete for who was going to be mod. Um, I don't... I can actually do a poll. I didn't realize that. I mean, I, I do know that, but I... I'm usually so focused on what's going on in front of me that I'm a one man band guys like I do everything myself so it's like maybe that's a that, that's a valid reason for me to get a mod but uh I mean I could just like set one up right now I guess I, I just I don't want to put like a pause to the game because remember this is speed run <laughs> insert timer here that I forgot to place I don't even know how to put a timer on this on, on this streaming thing I, I just I'm literally like figuring this out as I go I don't really oh man this friggin Salvatore man I guess you know it's part of l long distance relationships because you know we're on opposite ends of the world so Salvatore right now is sleeping while I'm awake so we have to meet up at certain hours so that you know our schedules intertwine um so while we wait, I guess we could just chat with each other. I always choose the M4 in GTA 4 like I played today on my 9 hour stream! Jesus man, that is some dedication. I stream for like 2 hours and I'm good. I, I actually saw a stream by this chick on Facebook, I don't know her name. That woman was streaming for 12 hours straight. That is like a full day. For, like. 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. type of day. I don't know how she does it. 
I don't know that I can ever do that. Honestly, it's not that I, I, I know I can do it. I'm just not interested in doing it. I don't know why people do that. I don't think that's healthy. <laughs> um, I also feel like the more available you make yourself to people, the less they watch. Okay, I, I don't know that that makes sense, but it's, it's reverse psychology. Like, the more you pay attention to people, the more they take, the more they take you for granted. So I, mean, I don't know if I'm making any sense, man. It, I'm tired. It's been a long week, but yeah, like I just feel like less is more sometimes. Like, I, and I'm not saying that I should stream like one hour per week. I'm trying my best to do as many hours, but um, I, I'm just like not the type who would stream for 12 hours or every single day for seven hours. Like that's too much, man. That's not healthy. It's not healthy to be sitting down for that long every single day. Um. But anyways, I don't really care for cheese except once in a while. I just don't understand why people like cheese, man. It's just the taste. It, it just reminds me of spoiled milk, which is basically what cheese is. Alright, we got four minutes left till Salvatore wakes up and can answer my call. Um, can I guess your first channel name? Well, if you don't guess too quickly, somebody else is gonna guess. <laughs> I love rotisserie chicken. Me too, Chad. I love rotisserie chicken. Lao is circling her prey. How so? Um. Anyways. Anyways. What's up, Tektronic? What's up? Welcome to the stream. I think this is your first time or maybe not. Was your first channel name X Gamer GX? I can be totally wrong. You are correct. That's what this channel's name used to be named. Uh, and I think it was called that for five years? I'm not sure. Yeah, I've been. I've changed this channel's name like three times, man. And honestly, I'm still not satisfied with the name. Like, I. I just feel like I haven't arrived at a name that just, I'm, I'm good and I just, I don't know. Maybe I should stop changing my name, I don't know if that's a good idea, you know, when I'm, and when it comes to my brand, but I just, I don't know, I, if I don't like something, I change it, man. Wait. Oh, the Avenging Angel side mission. What was that mission about again? Like, you take somebody on your bike to go kill somebody, I think? I don't remember. Um... You were standing in the bike... Wait! Oh my god! <laughs> but wait! Oh my god, are you serious? I was waiting for the wrong mission?! Oh my gosh, dude. I have a tendency to embarrass myself in this stream, but it's all good. It's all good. I it's been it's been okay. It's been a while since I played this game. Okay, cut me some slack. Okay, okay. It's on the side of the building. You are in the biker salesman marker. Why did it take you guys like five minutes to tell me this? Or maybe maybe it didn't. Maybe it was just a stream delay. Or maybe you guys did it on purpose, so that you would watch me stand there like an idiot for five minutes not knowing that I was in the wrong mission marker. Alright, it's all good. Um, let's go and do this shoot the messenger mission. I always check that I switched back to the Hello. game. Tony, some wise guys found out that the Sicilian mob behind the Pirelli did not go fused. Uh oh. He's headed over to meet Franco Morelli right uh oh. Now. It works very much to our advantage that Franco knows nothing. And this war keeps on going. <laughs> Take that blabbermouth out. You got it, Sal. Damn. Sal has left you a boat at the southwest pier. Stop the wise guy. Why are we calling him a wise guy? If he's not smart enough to not get killed by us aka me Ooh, nice car well let's go kill this i'm not gonna call him a wise guy he's not that smart 
If he was smart, he wouldn't be in trouble with Cell, if you think about it. So let's do it. Wait. I'm trying to get better at reading comments while I play, but driving in this game is not that simple, okay? I mean, it is pretty simple, but not when you're reading at the same time. Multitasking is real. Okay, here we are. I actually really like this car. I don't remember it. I do, but I don't. That was probably not a good idea. Because I hope we're not about to get in some battle. And I know there was a hidden package here. I was wrong. There is no hidden package here. Oops. Alright. Let's go find out who this non-wise guy is. Oh wait, this is a boat. Uh, I am doing that. Okay, there we go. He's heading back to Franco Ferelli. Take him out! Um, uh oh. Oof. Okay, hold on. Hard to press the circle. Oh no, I'm screwed. There's no way that's gonna work out. <laughs> Oops! Cheese is a dairy product produced with in wide ranges of flavors, textures, and forms by coagulation of milk protein casein. Yes, I know. Trust me, I've done my research on dairy. That's... It's why I quit... I quit dairy a few years ago. And it's... You know... It's... I've never gone back. I... Well, honestly, best decision I ever made. It uh, was literally affecting my health. Like, you have no idea. Like, my acne went away, my hormones changed, everything changed. A lot of people don't know it, but dairy's not really that good for you um I mean if you think about it dairy is milk for baby cows it's not made for humans I don't know I mean I guess humans started eating milk because you know back when we were like hunters and gatherers there was not as much stuff to live from so we had to resort to you know high protein shit alright Let's try again! <laughs> Hello? Tony! Some wise guys found out that the Sicilian mob was behind the Ferelli Sentaco feud. He's headed up Oh wait, why am I re re watching this? Wait, where's my car? Are you serious? Oh, sorry. I don't know why I say sorry as if they could hear me. <laughs> Every car is passing me by. Come on. There we go. Give me that stallion. Shh. Wait. Oh, you guys. I, sometimes I go to read your comments, but it's a. You guys are responding to another viewer. That's cool, though. I love how you guys have your own little conversations here. Um. Alright, let me see if I can read a comment. 8-Ball always does that. Oh. See? It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. <laughs> I like your current channel name. It's short, sweet, and to the point. Aw, oh, thanks, man. Yeah, the reason why I titled it Lao Plays, which in my opinion, you know... I guess I'm just a, I'm, I'm creative I'm a creative person so when th when something's not creative enough I feel like it's generic so I kind of do feel like my channel name right now is a little bit generic um, because of its lack of creativity but the reason why I titled it like that is because I didn't expect this channel to kind of be like my main thing I wanted my film channel to be my main thing and I you know I still would like that to happen but since I started streaming 
I've kind of felt like this channel is like my main focus in a way because my films take so long to to make oh there we go that was fast I barely even touched the boat what the hell is happening and where is where did that guy come from oh nice what's this gun Oh wait, that's my lover Sal, on the other end of the world. Uh, Cipriani, it's or me, not? McCaffrey. <laughs> I've got some it's the dirty cop. Might appreciate. Come and see me up at the usual place. All right. Well, Ray's back on our radar. Pun intended. <laughs> Sweet. Well, that was pretty easy. I kind of even feel like it was sort of a glitch. And I used to, I remember finding, like, this park area to be so relaxing. Oh, there's a rampage. No, that's a star. I know there's a hidden package around here. And, oh, check it out. That's Shoreside Vale over there. Which I'm hoping will head there either in this episode or the next one. Chat, everybody with your DTA PhDs, how many, how far am I from getting to Shorsideville. Like, do I have a lot of missions left? Or is there a possibility that this mission will get me there? Or, wait, that this episode will get me there? Let me grab that health. Alright. Ray is back on the radar. Nice joke. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you bows down. Th that park it is a luminal space. What do you mean? Um. Oh, sorry man. Too bad you weren't wearing a helmet. You know, <laughs> see if you guys have been paying attention. What do you call a biker with no helmet? Can you guess? Do you remember? Actually, we should put that taxi in there. So that I don't have to go out and get another vehicle when I come back. A little bit more missions in Staunton and then we go to Shoreside. But how many, Nass? How many? Let me know. How many? Um... Try wise gow wise gow <laughs> outfit. Let's do it. Yeah, because I don't plan on doing the avenging and angels missions. Nor do I like the outfit. I feel like a veteran of some sort. So for you now, foul. I'm. Oh yeah, this this one. I'm gonna wear the wise guy wise guy outfit. Oh, that's a web. I like Laura with a W. Yeah, I. That's kind of the name that I was going for when I when this channel was briefly a film channel, and I still like it. I I like how it's basically my name, but it makes sense even with the W in the end. But I I don't know why it kind of feels like a vegan channel name because of the raw. I don't know. But at the same time, it also feels like a raw channel, you know, like a, like an honesty channel. But I, I don't know, man. Sometimes I feel like the whole name dilemma with my channels is so big that I just rather not even do anything about it at all and just stay with the names that I have and deal with it. I did like X Gamer GX for a long time, and I still do. I just. I don't know, like something about it, man. Whispers. If we tell you, if we tell you how many missions, it'll ruin the surprise. La <laughs> Laura, I thought it sounded like a wrestling channel. That too, actually. I, you just made me realize that. Um, do you have birds? I don't. I've never had a bird in my life. Um, 
I wanted birds when I was little, but honestly, I feel like the less animals I can have right now, the better. Because I have a lot of animals right now. I have, um, three German Shepherds, two other elder dogs, and three cats. Well, four, because I also have an outdoor cat. So, I got a, quite a bit. Um... I have faith that you'll get to the next island before you finish the stream. Thank you, Chad. You're always so faithful in me. Um, bomb the base, Act 2. There's an adrenaline pill. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I think I used it in my uh, walkthrough video of that mission. You call your YouTube channel Lao the Boss Queen. <laughs> nah. No, I, I think I, I think I, uh, that's a teeny witty bit long. I, I like short and to the point, which I guess is what my channel names are. I think Lao is perfect, but I decided to give that name to my film channel, so, yeah. Anyways. Wow, lots of pets. Yeah. I believe you have two to three more missions till we unlock shoreside that is awesome because i'm I, I feel like i'm already ready to 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 finish this game is that bad i hope not it's just i i don't know like i start things and i just I, all i can think about is the end goal and i know it's about the journey it's not about the end goal but hey it's exciting to think about it you know like and i'm ex i'm also excited to edit the next like thumbnail series and see what those are gonna look like so anyways let's see what ray has on the radar for us <laughs> asmr allow hey maybe i'll become an asmrist no you're not salvatore so you know you're not getting flowers uh-oh they're running arms and taking a cut of the merchandise themselves tooling up for trouble uh oh guns to Fort Staunton and trucks. It's been a gas. It's been a fart. Destroy the trucks before they reach their destinations. Good thing we have a Sanchez because shooting from the side like a drive-by only works in San Andreas best. It works in these games. I mean it I just I don't like the drive-by controllers because pressing X while pressing the circle is the most uncomfortable thing on earth. I don't know how you're supposed like the thumb cannot naturally get in that position. It's no. Just don't. Please stop. Stop it right now. <laughs> but anyways, uh let's go take out these trucks and whatever is in them. Where are they? Oh they're actually not that far. Alright, let's do it. Road to Shoreside. I think that's that's what I should have called this mission, this episode, Road to Shoreside. Should I change the name? I think I'll change the name if we reach Shoreside Vale. What do you say, chat? What do you say? Where's this guy heading? Okay. This guy's heading north. But, uh, now he's gonna head to Jesus. Oh, jeez. What is this guy? It's freaking Karuma, man. Is this the freaking hitman that Ma sent me? I thought she canceled that guy. Oh, Jesus Christ! Ah! Dang it! I really could have used that, man. Oh, there's another one over there. Okay, quickly, quickly. Jesus Christ, what is happening? What is happening? Okay, quick, 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 quick. Oh my God. They're literally crashing onto me like- oh, 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 no. Bye! I, I don't- oh, jeez. And these guys are still after me. This is not looking good. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Let me grab this over here and hope that these dudes leave me alone. Uh-oh. Doesn't look like they are. Oh, but they went down there. Bye! See ya, losers! Okay, here's the nat here's the last truck. Oh my god! I would have been dead if I didn't grab that freaking health. Bye! 
I found- Why- Why is the cop not chasing them? And instead it's chasing me. Okay. Wait, why did that- That car just magically blew up? Okay. Okay. Oof, that was stressful, but we did it. We did it, people. Alright. So, if- If whoever told me we have three missions left is correct, that would mean that now we have two missions left, and honestly, I approve that message. So, let's go and save. Because this is two- we're, we're playing like it's 2005, you know, we're not playing like it's 2022, and things just get saved for us. Like, games didn't do favors for us back in the day. We gotta do it ourselves. We gotta be independent. <laughs> oh man, you guys get so excited. When I ride past a mission, that's cute. Apparently, she missed the bottom text they sent back up. Such a dramatic mission. Man, this, like I said, mafia people are the most dramatic people. I'm surprised they haven't made, like, a reality TV show about mafiosos and their families. I mean, there are movies like. What's that movie called with, like, Robert De Niro and his... Is it called, like, literally The Family? Where... I don't know, man. I mean, there, there's The Sopranos, I guess, but that's a... That's a fake story, you know? Wait. Okay, so I guess we're gonna be receiving a call. Because there's nobody available on the radar. So, uh, I guess we're gonna have to wait. For the phone call. Oh, see, there we go. Hello? Tony, it's Don. Oh, I what happened now? Pressing matter that requires your particular skills. Please call me at my office as soon as you can. I, for some reason, faintly remember Donald being the one who takes us back to Shoreside Vale, or takes us for the first time to Shoreside Vale, but I'm not exactly sure. Feel free to. S no, wait, don't, don't, don't spoil it. Um, I do want to get some armor, though, before we head there, because, uh, I've been walking on thin ice the last two missions with no armor at all. That's not safe, man. That's not safe. We gotta stay safe. Get that protection on us. Um, because as much protection as the mafiosos may offer, at the end of the day, you take one wrong, f you take one wrong step, and they, got all, they get all dramatic and they kill you. Alright. I think this is where- no, this is not where the armor is. Oops. Alright. Take two! Um... Where am I heading? Okay. I, I don't even know why I look at the map. I still remember this map pretty well. And it's small enough that you know, it doesn't take too much driving for you to start seeing the icons. So, hey, yeah. Here we are. I got all your home Give me some of that protection. And also, maybe some of this too? Oh wait, no, we, we certainly don't need any of that. Did Lao say take two? I mean, oh, yeah, shot, I said sorry. take two. Let's get this Look, money going! Actually, you know what? I'm gonna save again because I want to be able to have, you know, I'm, I don't want to go to the ammunition again in case I die. Though I don't think I'm gonna die in the next mission. How much money are you guys willing to bet that I'm not going to die in this next mission? Not that, not that I can actually pay you guys, but you know, yeah. <laughs> How much money would you bet? Wait, where am I going? Wait, who's calling me now? Now everybody wants my attention. Yeah. A hey, tough guy. It's McCaffrey. Oh, this guy again. The feds have caught up with your boss, Salvatore, and they're real pissed. Uh oh. Take the heat for every crime in this city. Uh oh. So we never met. Understood. Wait, what? Why did he call me? There's no Ray missions. He just called me to give me an update on Salvatore, aka my boyfriend. 
my long distance boyfriend in this game who doesn't want to see me in person. Not my boyfriend though, Tony's boyfriend. They're they're only talking via phone now. Um Get the free armor at the back of the ammunition. Oh man, that's too late for that now. I got Netflix, Netflix Premium and Amazon Prime. Lots of Mafia stuff there. I don't doubt it. Yeah, I've watched a lot of Mafia movies on Netflix too. The last Mafia movie I saw was <laughs> Mafia 1 the video game, which is basically a movie. I Honestly, I would have skipped playing that game. I would have just like... I, I would have just watched it. There's, But at the same time, I really enjoyed the gun combat of that game. I really, really did, honestly. Um, because it felt, like, authentic to, to, the, to the time, you know. I mean, it is a period piece, but... You know, if, if it was a... I mean, it is a game that was made basically, like, two years ago. But if it were made with the modern mechanics of, like, shooters and, you know, all that sort of thing. I, I, I don't think it would have felt as real. Um, so, yeah. Sal calls a lot in this game. Yeah. He, uh, proclaims to be very, you know, a wise guy, a tough guy, but, uh... He doesn't... I don't think I don't think he's actually tough, man. Calling me via phone because he's too he's too afraid to show up, man. Um, I always turn off auto save so I can manually save the game in GTA games because I love getting things I need before each mission and save good cars. There's something satisfying to saving your game, especially like after getting a lot of stuff done. I remember back in the day whenever I would like play, <laughs> um, and I would like. I don't know when I, especially when I did my walkthroughs, I would, uh, like when I would when I would finish my recording sessions, I would save the game and I would feel so good, like ah, I got so much done today. I bet zero that you are not gonna die in the next mission, but I hope I'm wrong. Wait, are you saying you believe in me or you don't, Swan? Cause last the last episode, you guys were my self-proclaimed friends but then you guys were giving me F's I was like are you guys serious how could you man I thought you guys were my homies bro Sal calls you a lot because of his paranoia past events the destruction of his business is la in Las Venturas thanks to CJ affected him mentally poor Sal he got a boo-boo. So he can't show his face now. A real confident man shows his face even in times of failure. <laughs> it's a challenging mission. What can I say? I love how you already know what mission I'm going to do, Swan. I, I love how, how you're so confident. You're not going to put your money on me. You're not going to put your sweet money on me. Because you know I'm going to fail. I thought we were... Swan, I thought you were my biggest fan, man. I thought you believed in me more than that, man. <laughs> I won't give you Fs. Thank you, Nas. See, guys? <laughs> Nas supports me. My favorite Mafia TV show was The Sopranos. I've never watched The Sopranos. It looks really good, though. The movies I bought were Pirates 2 and 3, Wally, The Adventures of Robin Hood, Ratatouille, The Prince's Bride, The Town, Gladiator, Up, Warm Bodies, Braveheart, and Baby Driver. Good selection. I I appreciate how diverse your taste in movies is, Jim. Very nice. I did say I hope I'm wrong. Nah man, Swambiff. You said it in a very indirect way that now I'm having trouble I'm having trouble believing your word. Sorry. But I, I ain't given no second chances. I ain't given no second chances. I hear birds singing. Maybe from outside your window. <laughs> no, what you're probably hearing is 
the coquis, which is a frog native of Puerto Rico. And it's also in Hawaii because somebody took one of them to Hawaii and the Hawaiians hate them. But here, like, Puerto Ricans don't even hear them. Actually, we love the animal. It's basically what represents us. But, uh, yeah, that's probably what you're hearing. It sounds like, Koki? <laughs> you know, you're a true gamer when your eye whites start turning blue. Are my eyes turning blue? Oh, yeah, they kind of are. But that's because of the the TV screen. The, the the colors are shining, you know, on my eyes. So. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's go ahead and do another mission, shall we? Wish me luck. Love on the rocks. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, Tony, you've got to help me. We're now what? Got evidence linking me to Salvatore. We're sunk. Calm down. Evidence goes missing every day. Not to mention judges, witnesses, jurors. <laughs> I hope you see it that way. One of my men has been following the guy with the evidence. He'll meet you under the overpass in Newport. I was waiting for Donald to say, that's what I like to hear. But don't forget to also leave the bodies for me to eat later. Did I sound like him? No, I, I needed a more like white man stock up accent. I, sa I, I, I nailed the paranoia, but just not the white educated, like highly... I wouldn't even even- I, I don't think Donald is educated. I think Donald is like a trust fund baby, cannibal psychopath that basically portrays his, himself as a smart person with his little accent. Okay, anyways, let's go- oh my god. There goes another stock of beach. Riley, you- right, you around? Beach geese? <laughs> Alright. Where's this guy? Oh, he's in the docks. Is he over here? Yeah. Get into the contact's car. The contact likes his car. Old school. Uh, My grandpa had a car like the that. Is in that fan up ahead. You have to fight your way in. Uh oh. Fan back to DL. <laughs> I love how this guy calls Donald Love DL. Like that's like that's like the cool way of calling Donald. Oh wait, what what did it say? Go and steal the van containing the evidence. Uh oh. You know what? Let's uh let's put this sniper to the use. I've barely used it. I've got like 95 rounds. So why not, you know? Bye. Should have kept drug dealing instead of this, bro. I've always loved the sounds of, like, the reload in this, uh, weapon. It's, like, very satisfying. Good luck indeed. Guys, don't scare me now! I'm a bad bitch, you can't kill me. Now I'm like paranoid, man. What am I supposed to? Uh oh. Oh shoot. Ah! Okay, okay. I'm gonna try and snipe all these beaches. Did you die? Yeah, he did. Come on. Ha. I don't- okay. I- I need to get out of my comfort zone. I need to go into the war zone myself. By the way, speaking of war zones, would you guys be interested in watching me play war zone? Because I dominate in that game. That's another- that's one thing that I have been a little bit unsure about. 
which is basically what games to cover as a streamer in this channel. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Um... Cause you know I got I got like the games of interest right now, which are basically oh. this game. Uh, I loved playing Mafia with you guys. It was a lot of fun, and of course, you know, eventually GT Vice City stories and GT Four, because I, at least with GT Four, I've been wanting to play that game for a while. Um. But after that, I'm not really sure what to do. I do know that I do I want to do GTA 6, but you know when it comes out, but I have a feeling I'm going to be at least 27 when that game comes out. And I'm 23 right now. Okay, maybe I maybe it won't be that far long. I think I think GTA 5, 6 is going to come out when I'm like 26 or 25. Oh shoot. What did Tony just say? It was really fast. I couldn't. I couldn't even tell, but it sounded cool. All right. Well, let's see what happens now. Play whatever you feel like playing. I know. I mean, I, I guess I can do that, obviously, and I, I am doing that. But I also want to know, like, what you guys like have to say about it, because you are my audience after all. And as much as I'd like to play every single game that I want. I also got to satisfy the audience, somehow. Um... This isn't that hard so far, Swan. What were you talking about? <laughs> LOL, yeah, Tony had bars. Man. Tony should have quit the Mafia game and just joined CJ. Actually, no. Not CJ. He should have joined OG Low. In Los Santos. Expanded his rap career. Expanded his rap career. Bro, this mission is not hard. You- are you tripping me? Park the van inside the garage. Where is this garage? Okay, here we go. Very empty garage, no doors whatsoever. Oh, gee, low! Hey, Don. Took care of that mess for you. Everything should be cool now. Really? You got no more links to organized crime. You're whiter than white. You could be the Pope. <laughs> the Pope. Watch this. Uh-oh. Although no links can be proved between Donald Love and Liberty City's organized crime, it seems his friendship with mobsters, including Tony Cipriani, have counted heavily against him in voters' eyes. The past few hours have seen his popularity Oh. He is seen, it seems, unfit for office. Unfit? Because... Me? You. You're the one who wanted a friendship man with oh. me? Your fault. Not the other My way. My fault? Oh, yeah. My fault. <laughs> I can't believe the sacrifice... This is where the cameras need to come in and start documenting but it do for, like, Bravo I'm Channel or something. And put that put that drama music behind it. Somebody needs to make a remix of that. Bankrupt. Twenty million dollars in the hole. Oh wow, is that what it costs to be a a mayor? Done. Arriva Bankrupt. <laughs> what a dramatic person. Well, and we don't get paid, of course, because we ruined his career. He lost 20 million, and apparently he lost, you know, the typical two grand that he gives me. Hello? Tony? Sal's, are you? Hey, shut up! Oh, my boyfriend's back. My lawyer here. Tony, I mean Lionel. Listen, they got me. Can you believe it? I'm up shit's creek without a paddle. Oh, shoot. Now get your ass over here. There's stuff I need you to take care of. Lionel? Oh, is this where we break Salvatore out of prison? I think so, because I'm, 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 I'm getting those memories back, man. Wait, who's Lionel? 
You guys seem to know things that I don't, and I am not okay with it. What is going on? <laughs> oh, shoot. I think... Oh, we're heading to Shoreside Vale! We did it! Wow. Okay, so now I think we can change the title, man. Should I, should I do it? Should I change the title? G get your glasses ready. Oh, yeah, that's true. I need to change into my lawyer suit. My stock-up lawyer suit. <laughs> nice. This is where you start doing missions when he's in jail. Yes, I know, Sack. Thank you. Oh, man, I- Oh, there goes the sound of the bridge. I can't believe it. I'm- I- I- for some reason thought that there was gonna be a more dramatic, like, transition to Shoreside Bill. Kind of like the one there was, you know, from Portland to, uh... Careful. To, uh... Staten Island? But I guess not. I guess not. Oh, Lionel... Is the lawyer. Right. So we're gonna be- I- Oh, wow, I forgot about that. No, actually, I didn't forget about that. I just didn't catch up to that when I originally played this game. But I, you know, like I said, I knew this was going to happen. I was going to notice things that I never did in the past. So, guess I'm doing that now. All right, let's go change into our outfit and become our alter ego, Lionel. Let's see. Leone suit? No, no. Actually, we, sh we should just show up with, with this instead. <laughs> Where is it? No. No. It's not here! No, we don't have it yet, dude. I think we have to go over to the, um, to the mission in order to get the suit, so... Why don't we make a trip to Shoreside Vale? But, before we do that, I need to change my vehicle. My vehicular transportation. The outfit is unlocked after you first show up in jail. Yeah, I think I'm catching up to that. Thank you, Nas. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Road to Shoreside Vale. Hell yeah! There we go. We officially did it, guys. Wow, that means I could have gotten to Shoreside Vale in the last episode, but then that would have defeated the title of Queen of Staten Island. Now, I need to remember, because this is always kind of tricky, how to get there. I, I, I remember the, the freaking bridge, I would always get lost in it. Even in GTA- actually, in GTA 3, because that's the last time I was in this city. So, let's go ahead and do it. Wait. Where the hell am I going? Oh, okay. I get- I got kicked out because of the title change? Wait, what? That shouldn't happen. Did you guys get kicked out because of the title change? Because it says here everybody's still here. Let me know. But uh, if that's the case... Um, sorry about that. <laughs> Lots of streamers though tend to change their titles like halfway through the stream. Because uh, they switch games or whatever. So... Yeah, I'm not sure why that happened to you, Punk Dallas. Title hasn't even changed for me. Yeah, man, trust- don't- never trust YouTube. YouTube is so unreliable sometimes. I- I love YouTube, but sometimes I have like a- Ooh, there it is! Welcome to Shoreside Vale, I haven't seen that in a while. I love you, YouTube, but sometimes... I- I, I can't. Love is not enough sometimes with you. <laughs> Uh, anyways, wow, can you guys believe it? We're back. I can't believe it. It's been so long. I'm, 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 
I'm taking it all in. You wanna go? You wanna go to the zip and get your clothing to get your teeth into? I don't get it. <laughs> Try you tried too hard there, Rockstar, and it wasn't good. All right, so let's go to the um, safe house and get my vehicular transportation saved. Because I don't want to save it. It's too pretty. I mean, I know I can just get another Infernus and pay and spray it a different color. Or the same color. But I, I just, I don't feel like it. I actually, for some odd reason, don't remember what the apartment in Shoreside Vale looks like. Because the last time I played in Liberty City was GTA 3. I think it was a house, actually. Now I'm remembering. Oh yeah, it was a house. It's a shame that in GTA 3 we didn't get that house. We got just another apartment in what looks like basically the projects of uh, Shoreside Vale. But yeah. Let's make our way uptown. Because this kind of basically is up like wait hold on what was it upstate new york is what shoreside vale is is that is it what it's modeled after like the suburbia of new york let me know my phd friends all right here we are wow i have not been in this house in a very long time <gasps> i can't believe it is this part of the lionel package <laughs> you know part of the lawyer performance Sal has gotten us into like did he buy a house to fit that performance because that would make a lot of sense you know unlike Donald Sal probably has every penny in his bank account well actually no because apparently CJ ruined it for him um wow can you guys believe it we're here again This time we got a... Well, I think this is the same TV, but we, at least we got a... Oh my gosh. This tiny-ass bed? Tony clearly does not fit in there. And it is so far away from this TV. How can you see that? Oh my god. What's up, Hoodstar? Welcome to the stream. We just made it to Shoreside Vale. And, uh... I'm very happy about that because it, it means we're progressing. Because... Now I'm concerned that we're going to spend less than 10 episodes, which is not good, because I need even numbers. <laughs> I like how the the Mafia stream ended with um, three episodes. That was very satisfying. Um, but what's up, you guys? By the way, what are you guys up to uh, on this lovely Saturday night? Let me know. Um... It's a TV from those days. They are that small, but large in the back. Yes, I know, Nas. I was very much alive um, during the days of fat-ass TVs. Um, I still actually have, like, two of them. What's up, Christian? Welcome back. Oh, sorry. My lawyer wears the Jason Voorhees outfit, Your Honor. <laughs> yeah, man. He just came back from killing a bunch of people. Don't mind him. Now let's get back to my let's get back to my case. Um thank you, Tektronic. He says nice eyes, lines. <sighs> Road to Shoreside Vale. Um Time for Lionel the lawyer. But you wait, oh wait. Did you purposely say Lionel? Because that actually... Oh man, I, that's actually a good title idea. Lionel the Lawyer. But actually, you know what? Maybe we'll leave it for the next stream. That's a good title. Thank you, Swan. Keith is the most unattractive name in the English language? Well... I've heard some of some Keith, Keith's. It's not my name, my favorite name, but you know, yeah, it's okay. You know, <laughs> I actually like. I think we can all agree that we all. I think the majority of us don't really like 
at least one of our names. I personally don't like my second name. My second name is a disgrace. I don't know what my parents were thinking. My mom doesn't even like it. Can you guys guess what my second name is? It's so girly, and it just, it's not me. I'm not a girly person. I have my feminine side, but I'm a tomboy. I, I, and my second name, Jesus, Mary Joseph Christ. I have seriously considered legally removing it because I just, I never use it. I don't even think it's on my passport. That's how much I don't like it. Although I have not legally removed it, I have spiritually removed it. But honestly, wow, that came out very Italian. Honestly, the only reason why I've kept it is because my grandfather used to call me the, you know, that name. And unfortunately, my grandfather has since passed away. So, you know, I feel kind of bad. I don't know what I don't know what accent that was, but uh, yeah, that's like he loved it, and I'm just like, oh, why did you have to die, man? Now I can't get rid of it because you liked it, and I want to keep it in your honor, man. Damn, damn, it's unfair, man. Anyways, uh, Lao Nell, that's gonna be the next title, man. Reverse psychology made you be more careful. What do you mean, Swan? My favorite Mafia game is called Mafia Wars. Is that like an app? I can't stand the name GTA 6. Why can't people just... it Call it the GTA installment. Yeah, I honestly, I kind of agree with you, Punk Dallas. I feel like... Um, GTA 6 is just such an uneven number. It just makes me go like, no, like, why can't they just, like, why can't they just get rid of the numbers and just, like, in the good old days, like, after GTA 3 came GTA Vice City, San Andreas, Liberty City Stories, like, none of those games have numbers? So why do we gotta have numbers now? Like, GTA 5 didn't have any DLCs. I mean, they had a bunch of GTA Online DLCs, but... Not the same, you know. GTA 4 had two DLCs, both of which had no numbers, obviously because they're part of the same universe. But still, why do we need the numbers? This isn't. Th these aren't iPhones here. We don't need to. And honestly, not iPhones don't need numbers either. You could call it iPhone XXX, and people will buy it anyways. You know, <laughs> iPhone triple X. What a naughty iPhone. <laughs> anyways. Um, I understand women calling themselves divas, even though it's a derogatory term, but I don't understand women who call themselves <laughs> call themselves bitch. Listen, it's kind of like a. I don't mean to call myself like an actual bitch. It's just like there's something to that word that has some sort of like. When you look at the positive side of the word, it's very empowering. Like, I'm such a bad bitch. You can't kill me. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. It's like it's like your favorite cuss word, but using it as self-empowerment, you know? Even though there's some of them that I guess grammatically speaking cannot be used because it just it does it does it ain't gonna sound right. But I think for the B word it does. Um, but yeah, Donald sounds extremely educated in three years time. He does actually in GTA 3. He sounds way more professional. Huh, I wonder what changed. What's up King Balesh? Well, a little bit late, but in, into the comment section, but uh, welcome to the stream. <laughs> but bitch means female dog. I mean, guys, I have a female German Shepherd, and that dog is a badass. Even though she's kind of a baby, and she's very, because she's kind of a sissy, but, like, she intimidates. That dog is n not intimid. Like, she is, I don't think she's capable, like, of even hurting an insect. But when she barks, she makes you feel scared. Like, she barks like a aggressive dog. 
So I don't mind calling myself a female dog because female dogs can be intimidating. I also have another female dog who is very dominating and uh, everybody's under her wing. Nobody goes before her. Uh, just like... Wait, I tried to do that with an accent. Just like the big dog, Roman Reigns. Wait, no, wait. Who's Roman Reigns? I was doing Roman from GTA 4. Don't mind me. Uh, that accent, though, Lau. Thank you, Christian. Thank you. I was actually... You know, sometimes, guys, I talk to myself with accents. The other day, I, I was telling something to myself in a southern language. Something about singleness. I don't know, but I, I, I don't know what I was telling myself, <laughs> but it was certainly something about being single. <laughs> Yo, you guys need to send me stuff to do accents about. I need more accent challenges. Wait, if I do have a middle name, gonna put it as Jackson. Wait, none of you have guessed what my middle name is. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you guys another shot, okay? You ready? Say something in Spanish. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Me llamo Laura. Ok, vamos para la misión porque en verdad que estoy, estoy bien atrasada. So let's do it. So let's do it. Wow, I, did, I even spoke Spanish. Uh, I spoke English in a Hispanic accent. Let's get out of here. That's one thing I didn't like about this house is that it's so far away from everything. But so is the one in Wichita Gardens. I'm not going to use my car. This car, This car is... Its main purposes are just to sit in my garage and make me feel good about myself. <laughs> but uh, for the actual missions, actually, we can go through the uh, through the other area over here. Oh, oh shoot! I forgot about this car, which is always sitting here. Remember, we're a lawyer now. We gotta pull up in a nice ride and be very educated. Well, actually, no, because lawyers tend to be, like, aggressive and intimidating. I've never met a lawyer that doesn't make me feel intimidated. I've got lawyers in my family. And I, I, I'm always, like... And the thing is, oh my god, I'm the worst. I'm the worst, guys. I... Don't tell the police, okay? Because they could arrest me. No, I'm kidding. But I, during the pandemic, my license expired right and i because we were in the pandemic i didn't you know they were giving out like special privileges like you could have like um more time to get your new license uh over over time i guess whatever i took advantage of that and i spent basically seven months with an expired license driving around as if I had a, a valid license. I... I don't know, man. The thing is, a lawyer in my family found out. And... <laughs> that's like a big F you, I feel like, to have. Like, you're a lawyer, and then your own family member violates the law in a way that should have costed me thousands of dollars in... I should have been caught. And the thing is that... Yeah, I should have been caught. I should have been given tickets. I should have... I've sh I... Sh but I, I never got caught. Except for by my lawyer family member. And I did get a bit of a speech. Because, again, it... Yeah. But, yeah. Don't do that, kids, okay? Don't do that. Anyways, we're here... Speaking of law, we're here to visit uh, uh, Salvatore and see what kind of... Uh, kind of trouble Lao Nell can get him out of. Oh, shoot. Are you kidding me? Wow, what a way to ruin the moment. <laughs> Alright, well, apparently our suit is waiting for us over at... Oh, it's actually right next door. I really like this car. It really suits the vibe of, like, hotshot lawyer charges you like a couple thousand dollars per visit. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. I feel like this 
Rockstar made this area specifically for this mission, like this little store. Well, hello there. It's me. Your very expensive lawyer. Let's make this cart, like, we need to make it black. It needs to match, like, the vibe. And my outfit as well, of course, so let's see. No, that's not, that's not, that's not it. WWE is all fake. I, I mean, I, isn't it? Isn't that, like, pretty transparent that it is all a performance? Put on your glasses. Oh, actually, you know what? They're right here. Good call. Good call, Punk Dallas. So, to fit the whole mood, I am now a lawyer myself, so... Wait! This is not the co- You know what? Screw it. Whatever. We'll go in white and, uh... You know... Be Salvatore- The light of Salvatore's life. You know, actually, they usually suggest that you wear, like, light colors and stuff to, like, hearings or whatever in court. So that it, like, gives a more visual representation of your assumed innocence, or at least the innocence that you're trying to prove. Uh, <laughs> hello, Launel. Um, all the liar- all the loy liars never call a lawyer a liar, except for Launel. The lying lawyer. Ooh, that's a good one. Lao now the lying lawyer. But I just, I don't know if we're gonna have these missions in the next episode. Man. Now I want to change the title again. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I tried. Is that gonna be a, somebody's gonna say that now? I know you and Riley's middle names. Shoot, Swan, shoot. Your middle name is Stephanie? No. Thankfully, no, but I will say it does start with an S, so you were close. You were close. Let's go shoot pool with ramen or go bowl. No, that was not good. Hey, ramen, let's go bowling. Hey, ramen. Throw, ra no. Ramen? No. I love ramen, though. German Shepherds are awesome dogs. Once I move out into the country, I'll probably get one. Dude, German Shepherds are amazing. I am in love. I just wish they could be adopted and not shot because I, I don't like paying for dogs. But uh, fortunately, my German Shepherd was free. <laughs> Plow your unique individual. Aw, oh, thank you, Chad. Um, you're pretty... I mean, we're all unique here, but yeah. There's nobody like you. Do you understand? There's nobody like you out there. Okay, let's go visit Salvatore, because God knows my boyfriend needs me. I'm talking with like a- <laughs> never mind. <laughs> oh man, what did you do now? He's your lawyer, Mr. Leone. I know who the hell he is, pal. Come on, give me a break here. <laughs> go ahead, kid, run along. Say hello to your mother for me, Gabish. Uh, you got five minutes. Listen, uh, Lionel, you're looking good. Uh, that's Lionel, actually. Look at me. A fine member of the community, and suddenly, I'm banged up. It really challenges my philanthropic nature. Uh, of course, Mr. Leone, we're doing everything we can to get you out of here, and, uh, back to helping your community as soon as possible. Of course. I hope we can sue someone for this outrage. Those cunts of Sindacos or those cocksuckers of Pirellis? Who was it? Who ratted me out? It was Let's hit them both hard. Way I see it was it. Carl. Wait. For this outrage. It will be my pleasure. Who's Carl? What am I talking about? I'm tired, man. Tony. You really mean a lot to me. You know that? Listen, you might need some backup. Uh, use the hood, okay? Whatever you think is best, Mr. Leone. All right. Get out of here. Lionel. It's Lionel. But you know what? You can call me whatever you want because you're paying me. <laughs> What's your name? Depends on how much you're paying. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we have to pick up the hoods and get the Ferelli's attention. 
You gotta admit, I got quite the unique task as Salvatore's lawyer. So, uh, let's go make this man proud, shall we? Uh, alright, let's do it. <laughs> Launel, the great lawyer. S see, I can't- oh man, I gotta- I can't do this. I can't read while I'm driving. I guess this is- this- this- this reassures me how dangerous texting and driving actually is. Because I could get into these similar accidents if, uh... If I did this in real life, which I'm, you know, guilty of it. Because here in Puerto Rico, nobody really cares about the street laws. Um... I've seen, like, this year, I've seen at least two cops texting and driving. Cops. Cops don't give a crap here. But anyways. Neither does Launel the lawyer. Okay, wait. Are we supposed to go down there? What am I supposed to do with the blues? And what am I supposed to do with, with the reds? Wait, what's the blue gang called? Because I know the reds are the crips. But what's the blue ones again? If anybody, if any of you know? Not in GTA, but in like real life. No, 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 no. Not in my converter, okay? That that was expensive. Let's go in your car. Oh, sweet. It's time for hoods to rise up and do the right thing. All right. Let's go in this... Why would the- <laughs> A van with graffiti? Why would you ruin your car like that? That's like putting a sticker on your car. I don't- I can't put stickers on cars unless it's an old used car because a part of me is always like, but what if I sell it in the future? It's gonna- like, the value of it goes down if it's covered in Apple stickers. You know what I mean? So I- if I get a new car, I would not put a sticker on it. That is... A, that is- no. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Okay, what are we supposed to do? I forgot. Uh, let's smoke them. Lure the Ferrellis by smashing up their cars. Okay. Maybe we should have gone in my convertible. Exact, exact revenge on the Ferrellis. What? There's just one guy. He's gonna get it. Is, what is going on? I'm so confused with this mission. Oh, they're just popping out of nowhere. Whatever. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Um. Just go up close and personal. You guys are useless. I killed these guys in less than two seconds. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Grandma's gone wild on me. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, I did not mean to kill one of my own. Why are they... I mean, I don't mind that they focus on this guy. Wait, why are you shooting me? This mission is ridiculous. Lure out more for Let's see, all these guys just died. I don't even know why Salvatore wanted me to tag with them. And he expect- And they were expecting to get in my convertible! Uh-uh. Nah, uh honey. That was an expensive car. Provided, of course, by Salvatore himself. Oh, oh, I see. So we have to shoot their cars so that they come out a- they're hiding, aka they just spawn out of nowhere. Um, I understand. If somebody did that to my car, I'd do the same. But the difference is that I wouldn't die. Due to my uselessness. <laughs> Which is wh basically what these guys are. Like, they're not even removing my freaking armor, bro. That is bonkers. Oh. Oh, nice. Did not mean to use my shotgun, but you know what? Now that I did, I don't mind. Alright, well, since my duties as a, a lawyer are done... Oh, look at that. The police caught on to the fact that I'm not an actual lawyer. Oops. 
Because I removed my glasses. And now everybody knows I'm Superman. <laughs> and I lost all my weapons. Whee! Okay, so... I guess we're gonna have to go buy some. Because I don't want to do this mission again. So why don't we? Shall we? Do that. At least they didn't get rid of my expensive suit. So, yeah. Eres una persona increíble y sorprendente para mí. Oh, thank you, Chad. That's so sweet of you to translate. Oh, shoot. Wait, there. Oh, my God. You gotta be kidding me. There's no ammunition here. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go on a road trip and grab some. But you know what? That's fine. Because I think I'm going to be putting this stream to an end soon. Wait, is this, is this the right... No. Because um, I, I want to keep a little bit of the lawyer stuff for the next episode. Because I kind of want to mess around with that title. Um, and also, for some reason, I'm just tired today. Like... I don't know, like, usually my tiredness goes away when I start streaming, but I don't know, it's, it's not going to- I did have a long week, I mean, every week is long for me, but I don't know. But I do have a really cool video coming up um, that I just randomly made today, so I don't know when I'm going to put it to- I mean, it's already put together, I just have to put, like, music on it and that's, like, it. It's, I could honestly make it into a short. It was just like basically a like a little time speed thing of me making the thumbnail, turning myself into a cartoon. Um, blood is red. Oh, the blue is Crips and reds are Bloods. Gotcha. Thank you. See, I'm always learning in these freaking streams, man. It's so freaking cool. The this mission you just shot the Ferrellis. Yeah, the Ferrellis are the ones with the really good diner because they've, they're they all kind of chunky. And, um... And the Sindacos are the ones in leather jackets. The, the Yakuza... Y y the, the Asian ones, I don't remember the name, are the ones with the, uh... With the, uh... Like the Nike's clothes. <laughs> the overly saturated blue like workout like sweat sh sweatshirts um and then the leones are obviously the ones with the suits and honestly in my opinion the best dressed so i don't understand the fashion of the other ones um and i think that's it i don't think there's any more gangs in this game um that i know of um Wait, Chad, do you actually speak Spanish? Or did you Google Translate? Be honest. <laughs> no shame if you Google Translate it. I Google Translate shit all the time. No shame at all. Sweet. Alright. I am fully equipped now to be Salvatore Leone's lawyer and boyfriend. <laughs> um, anyways. So, handicap parking. What do you mean? You're tired because you did a stream last night streaming with Riley. Actually, that's a good point, Chad. That is true. I did stream last night with Riley for the first time in two weeks. So that could be why I am a little more tired than usual for today's stream. Because the last two weeks, my streams were like... I barely felt those three hours, man. I really didn't. I was totally good. And I was just... Boom, but today I like I can feel myself like dragging a little bit. But it's all good, man. I, I'm I'm glad to spend some time with you guys and honestly, thank you all as always for watching. I'm not going yet. I'm just saying, I'm just expressing expressing <laughs> am I a Sean Connery now? I'm just expressing my, my appreciation for you guys and uh for all the support really. Um Triads, yes, the triads are the the, the Asian the, the Chinese I mean, I, I say Asian because I, I can't differentiate sometimes the Chinese from Japanese from Korean, etc. So, Asian cats... Asian, the word Asian has me covered. 
Muy bien, Lao. I learned Spanish a little bit. Hey, thank you for learning a little bit. There's a lot of people in the world that don't know any Spanish, which is um, unfortunate. Um, I still don't understand why they didn't add the dodo for this game, unless they're really worried with that better controls. Um, I don't know. They didn't add a lot of things in this game. Sometimes I think it's because of pure laziness, but I could be wrong. Sometimes they just don't add things because, because it's not like such a big deal of a game. At, not, at least not as much of a big deal as GT3 was because this game I don't think had the same success. Um, I'm not sure. I know a little bit of Spanish, but not to the point of conversating in it. So I'm guessing you know enough to, like, uh, understand it, Naz? Oh, Crips are blue like handicaps, and Crips are c cripples. Ooh, don't call a Crip a cripple, because you might get uh, strippled. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> it sounded cool. Um... I accidentally taught myself the Latin King's hand sign without knowing it's a gang sign. I used to think that the West Coast was a gang sign. I I don't know if it is. I don't think so. I think it's just like a street thing from like California or whatever. Um Well, the cops aren't exactly... Oh, look at these guys. Weren't we... Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Didn't I just work with you two? Are you seriously... That armor costed money. Just like my suit. So if you're not gonna pay for my suits, my convertibles... Then get out of my way. Because you didn't go to an expensive college like me. And become a law to become a lawyer. I got all your home defense needs. <laughs> all right. Wait, I can't afford this. Oh, <gasps> they took all my money. Wow, I forgot that the cops take your money, dude. You've got to be kidding me. I have twelve dollars to my name. Oh my god. Where's my convertible? I was gonna sell it so I could have money to buy guns so I could be Salvatore's boyfriend. Wow. Now that right there is what I called getting punked. Oh no. I mean, I, I guess I could always reload my game. But I don't want to redo that mission, guys. I really don't. Oh man, that stupid cop, man. He took everything from me. He took everything for me. From me. I have no words right now. I don't know. I don't know what to say or do. Other than to just... Man. I lost all my money. <laughs> so I guess I'm just gonna have to steal a convertible. And go from there. Wow. I'm so disappointed in this game right now. I completely forgot this happens. Anyways, whatever, we gotta move on. We'll just get some more, like... I'll just up my lawyer fees with Sal. Wait, what? Where? Okay. I still get lost on how to go to... Sh Guys, it's been forever, and I still get lost on when it comes to going to um, Shoreside Vale. It is what it is. Um... <laughs> Wait. There's a window here. Is this a conjugal visit because there's no window? 
I mean, I am, like, Tony is Salvatore's boyfriend after all. Oh, wow. Seriously? So, that might be the case. Punk Dallas. Anyways. Um... <laughs> Ashton! Where's Ashton? <laughs> I love Anna Faris, man. That makes me want to react to that, honestly. Would you guys be down for that? Like, reacting to, like, some funny scenes? Ugh, the problem is that they're probably gonna uh, claim my video, like, the copyright. Still playing this video game, I see. Yes, but it seems like I won't be playing it for much longer, because we're already on the third island. And, uh, I, for now, I've only spent about, like, well, I spent, like, three episodes in, no, more. I spent, like, four episodes in Portland, one episode in Staunton, one and a half. And now the countdown begins to how many we'll spend in Shoreside Vale. I might end the stream early because, honestly, I want to try and see if I can get to 10 episodes. So that would be four more episodes. I see if I can drag it out so that I can have an even number for the series. I don't know if it's very likely that will happen because I am progressing through this game pretty quickly. But, yeah. Unfortunately, I've lost my web my money. So we're going to have to depend on whatever comes next now. And So, yeah. I, I, I don't think I'm going to be doing any more missions for today. I'm going to head home. And, uh... Man, I wish I could re I, I wish I could react to some like <laughs> some funny stuff like like friggin Ashton punking me or Anna Ferris yelling for Ashton or wait, I was there was something else but I forget what was it? Oh, the <laughs> we were talking about like last week on on the other stream about the scary movie funny scenes. Oh man, if only copyright didn't exist. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be pos pos that's not it's not what I said possible. Yeah, I am definitely like tired today, man. Like I don't know, like I feel fuzzy. My my brain is fuzzy. I'm actually I'm gonna save this convertible so that I have a extra Look, my Lambo has a sibling! How nice! All right. I wouldn't be down for that. I'll be up for it. <laughs> is that a pun? It is sort of. It's a double meaning joke. Why am I analyzing this? I'm tired. I'm so tired, guys. Normally, I'd be going for like another hour, probably like another 40 minutes, but I think I'm going to cut it short today. Um, wait, did I even switch the game? Alright, everybody, say bye to Lionel the lawyer, at, le at least until next time. Um, and say hi to the under-ego Lau. I don't know what I'm saying at this point, man. Um, cookies, cookie frog sounds are so relaxing. That's cool that you say that, because a lot of... I don't know if you're American Tektronic, but a lot of Americans don't seem to like cookies because they're loud. I personally don't really hear them anymore, but uh, that's because I've been listening to them my whole life. But yeah. Well, since you have a taxi, do some fares to earn money. Wangsta, I'm a lawyer. I'm not a taxi driver. How dare you downgrade me like that, sir? <laughs> no, man. You know, maybe I will do some taxi driving missions. Maybe not. I, I've done. I did like three hundred fares in my original game because I actually enjoyed that that side mission. Um, I thought you spent all your money. I didn't, dude. I had like twenty thousand dollars. There's no way that all my money just went. I I spent like twelve grand. 
I'm a lawyer. That's the kind of money that I have to spend. You know, when you become a lawyer, you automatically become a big spender. Um, I learned Spanish from GTA Vice City and Vice City Stories. Huh, interesting. We'll learn more Spanish next time. Just gotta get the motivation to learn more. Honestly, the way that I learned English was just watching American television. So, you could... I mean, you don't even have to watch Spanish television or Hispanic television or Mexi Mexican, whatever. You can literally just turn the language on Netflix to be Spanish. And it'll be Spanish. So, you could try that. Or also change the language in your phone to Spanish if you want to be extreme. Um... Well, wait, though, if you did that last mission in the next stream, it would make more sense to the stream title. Wait, Swan, am I going to have more lawyer missions? Because I need to know before I title my stream with some funny lawyer title thing. Did you steal my l last comment? Oh, I know a little bit of Spanish and Italian and Chinese and Japanese and Greek and Hebrew and Dutch. Damn, Chad. You're multilingual. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. That's awesome, dude. I, um, I know Spanish and English fluently. And I just know a couple of words of Italian, a couple of words of... Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I don't know any other languages. Um, I recently beat the video game called The Outer Worlds and coming back for a second round. Nice, man. Nice, John. You can play the movie in the background while we can pay our own copies. Wait. I can't play movies on my stream because it's gonna get, um... It's going to get copyrighted and then I won't be able to get paid for my <laughs> hard work of entertainment. <laughs> and it's not like I even get paid that much from these streams. I make, like, all the money that I make from these streams is from Super Chats because, honestly, like, it takes so many views, you guys, to make decent money on YouTube. You ha I mean, for those of you who don't do YouTube, you have no idea. Like, even if you got hundreds of thousands of views per month, you still, like, it's still not sustainable. It's bonkers. That's why things like Patreon and memberships and, 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 and uh, merch exist. Um, speaking of which... If you want to sign up for my Patreon, the link is in the description. It's officially open again. So if you want to support me as a creator, streamer, filmmaker, etc., uh, you can do so and have your lovely name here, right here, in every single stream as well as the end credits of my videos. But I think even cooler than that is just the amount of stuff that is in my Patreon. Like, people don't understand. People don't realize. Like, I have so much stuff. Like, vlogs and, and stuff that nobody's ever seen. Um, and, like, you can... I, I, I think it's cool how I've documented, basically, the making of a lot of my videos. Um, and as well, not just that, but just my personal life and what it was looking like. I also uploaded a video the other day detailing what my next film is about so if you're curious about that the link is in the description so yeah um the more like patrons i get the the more i can do this honestly because it becomes more sustainable are you planning on doing the side missions uh probably not i'm mostly focused on story missions at this point um 
I kind of just... I feel like, uh, maybe... Maybe, like, if, like, the... Like, for instance, in GTA 4, the assassination missions, I'd totally do those, because I really love those. But, like, stuff like the, the, the taxi driver, firefighter missions, I don't know about that. Like, the repetitive stuff, uh, nah. I, I've, I've retired from those days in my life of repetitive missions. Um, oh, goodbye, John. Thank you for watching, man, and, uh... Uh, I'm glad you were able to do your own stream on Twitch. And good night, Wangsta. It's almost midnight here as well, so we're on the same clock. Wait. Are you the one who's in Puerto Rico? No, no, no. No, Wangsta's the one. Oh, man. I, my brain is fried. Don't, don't, don't even look at me, man. I look fine on the outside, but on the inside, I'm like that... <laughs> That warm fit thing from Spongebob that ate chocolate. I don't even know what it was. Um, I love Oreos. I love them too because it's the only, it's one of the only junk foods that doesn't have freaking dairy, man. I love them. They're the best. Um, DTA Vice City Stories takes 1,000 per star. Well, apparently in Vice in Liberty City stories, it takes all my money because they have no mercy. <laughs> I mean, you visit Sal, but not as a lawyer. You talk to him from outside the police station window. Oh man, maybe I ha I sh maybe I should have loaded the game and re redone the mission, get all my weapons back. But it's all good. Got to roll with the punches, even though I didn't get punched. Nothing really happened. Um, no, you don't even have to show the movie. Just tell us to press play for the movie. So you you guys want me to tell you to go to the video and watch the video. I mean, I can just tell you what the video is. Just search um, Scary Movie 1 um, Staircase Scene. And I think you should find what I'm looking for. Or, and as for the Ashton Kutcher thing, it was the Friends, uh, the movie Just Friends, the part, like, where Anna Faris is like, Did I get punked? Ashton! Where are you? Something like that. I don't know. I need to, I, I'm trying to get a little bit more confident to, like, let out, you know, the true acting, man, like... Honestly, cause I, I've been I've been holding back from like raging lately. Not today. Today I'm a little bit too fussy for that. But last week when I was failing the missions, oof, I was uh, I was this close to letting out my inner demons, but I didn't because I not necessarily because I don't want to let it out, but because I'm afraid of peeking the microphone. Of course. <laughs> Um, YouTube used to pay a lot of cash, but nowadays being a homeless person and ask for money on street is better. <laughs> Honestly, I think you're, n I hate to say this, but you're not incorrect. Like, it's, I think you could probably make more money panhandling than from YouTube. Like, with, e even if you get decent views, it's ridiculous. Like, I know people who are in the hundreds of thousands, if not millions of subscriber marks, who still rely on Patreon to be able to make a living. It's bonkers, but it's the reality, you know? It is what it is. Um, I have heard Patreon is not the best place to use. There is better alternatives, but the cash is good enough. I will... It, but the... If the cash is good enough, I will go for it. Uh, you mean go for making your own Patreon or go for joining my Patreon? <laughs> um, um, I mean, I don't know about other places. Patreon is the most popular one. 
of course youtube is now rolling out with a membership because youtube you know loves to copy everybody and implement it into their own platform which honestly i appreciate because i i love when i can get everything from just one place and i did think about making a like a membership for my channel um but i'm not sure how it works hmm joining patreon or using your patreon which is it though john are you gonna make a patreon or are you gonna join my i mean you need to make a patreon account to join my patreon but it's just like a username basically i mean if you want to join my patreon the doors are wide open as for as little as two dollars two dollar rooskies a month you can have everything and more <laughs> um Uh, you may need to do some side missions to earn money for a mission later. All I'm saying. All right. Well, I guess the next the next episode, we might have to go around Liberty City and Panhandle so we can afford whatever missions are coming next. You know? Can you imagine like just top notch lawyer with his convertible like asking for money on the streets? That is uh sad oh yeah don't forget to pick your mod i just I, you know why i'm hesitated i feel hesitated to pick a mod is like i don't want to have like i don't want to make anybody feel like i have preference over anybody also i don't really have any like i don't have like people spamming or anything so like do I, do I need a, a, a mod yet? <laughs> um, subscribe star. Huh? I don't get it, Nomad. I have a the scary movie collection on DVD that I borrowed. LOL. I'm gonna watch them soon sometime. It's been a long ago. Yeah. I think they're on Netflix too. The, the first one, I think, is... Um... Oh yeah, oh wait. I will think about joining Patreon and using your Patreon one of these days. Awesome! Thanks for considering it. Um, and if you can't join my Patreon for all of you, it's all good. You can support me by liking the stream, sharing, even commenting. It uh, helps you know the algorithm to get going and stuff and promotes my stream to more people. Yeah, I'm a Patreon supporter, but I'm not getting special treatment. Girl, Punk Dallas, your name is in every single one of my streams. And will be in the end of my credits. And you get over 80 videos. Like, wait, what do you consider special, spe special treatment? My brain is fried, man. I'm I'm leaving in like five minutes, guys, by the way. So, uh, if you have any last words, now is the time. Let's say goodbye to Lionel for today. Uh, it was good, bro. But I will see you next week. Now it's time to look at Lionel. <laughs> um, but yeah. Today's been good, guys. I, uh, subscribe star is an alternative option to patreon oh i've never heard of that but i'll look into it i guess i i go for patreon too because you know when i started patreon patreon was not well known it it, it wasn't as well known as it is today so uh yeah not a lot of people knew what it was but now everybody's pretty familiar with it so you know, I kind of just try and go with where people are the most because it's just more convenient for my audience, you know? <laughs> Time to look at Sophia. Oh, yeah. That's my middle name is Sophia. Jesus, Mary Joseph. What? Literally a curse. I don't know what people, like, no. That, it's not an ugly name. It's a nice name, but it's just... It's too girly, man. Do I look like a girly goat? 
I ain't no girly girl, man. I got my femininity. But deep down, I'm a bro, man. Literally. <laughs> you guys have to see me play Warzone with Riley. That game turns me into... Riley and I, we're literally, we're literally bros, man. But anyways, um, are you streaming with Riley next Friday? Yes, we are, Chad. So, uh... <laughs> you keep bringing up old shit. Do you need a plumber? Because you keep bringing up... Are you serious? Also, see you next week. Good night. Yeah, I'm gonna get going, you guys. Um... Thank you all for watching once again. Uh, sorry that the stream wasn't as long as it usually is, even though I'm only short by like 30 minutes. But yeah. Oh yeah, Riley is Jeffrey. Shh, don't tell him I told you guys or confirmed. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll see you next week and hopefully... My brain will be more recuperated. I mean, we still had a great time. I had a great time. Do you have a great time? I had a great time. Thank you all for the support, for the comments, the super chats, everything. And, uh, yeah. Bye now, Fal. Chad, Swan, Punk Dallas, Hoodstar, uh, Chad, M9, John, Nomad. I still don't understand. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do understand what you meant now. Um, now, Fal, I think I already mentioned you. And Wangsta, Tektronic, and of course the lovely silent viewers. I see you. I see you. I see you all. I love you all. Thank you for watching. Thank, thank you. Thank you for tuning. Th that was a little bit. That was a little bit. Uh, I don't. I don't know, man. I'm tired. See you next time, guys. And uh, yeah, have an awesome week. <laughs>